Hello everyone. Welcome back to Math Vibes. Don't forget to click the subscribe button if you are new to our channel. Today in this video we are going to learn about representing integers on a number line. So let's start. Well, a number line is just like a line but with numbers on it. Let's look deep into it. Whenever we have to draw a number line, then first of all we have to draw a line with two arrows on both the sides. It is very important to draw arrows on both the sides. And another thing you have to take note of is that a number line should always be drawn with a pencil. Okay. Moving on, after drawing a line, what you will do is you will put equal marks over here. These are called ticks. You will put ticks over here. But you have to take care of this thing that these things, ticks should be on equal intervals. Okay. These two ticks should be on equal intervals. Now when you have to draw this on your notebook, it becomes very easy to draw this number line if you use a scale. Because on scale you already have these ticks over there like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Those markings are already written over there. So you just draw a line and then you put a scale on it. So you will be, you will be able to draw these ticks on equal intervals easily if you keep on marking on points 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. Okay. That was about how to draw a number line on your notebook. Now, so first thing is draw it with a pencil. Second thing is arrows should be marked on both the sides. Third, tick, third, these ticks should be on equal intervals, right? These ticks should be on equal intervals and then you will write numbers under it because number line means a line with numbers on it number line a line with numbers on it and we know that a line has arrows on both the sides okay so number line means a line with numbers on it and those should always start from zero do remember this thing a number line whenever you are drawing it should always start from zero we just don't start it from in between we always start it from the number zero okay let's move on now, when you are drawing a number line, we have kept in mind those points about arrows and equal ticks and numbers written on it. Okay. So, when you are drawing a number line, then we should see that when we are writing the numbers, then they go on increasing if we go to the right hand side. Okay. And they keep on decreasing if we go to the left hand side. Means if I am going from 0 to 5 they will increase their value will increase but if i'll go to left hand side like if i am going from 5 to 2 like 5 4 3 2 1 its value is decreasing okay so remember this thing on right hand side its value increases and on left hand side its value decreases okay next is now if in opposite situations we like integers okay now we have to draw integers on a number line okay so obviously now when we are drawing the number line then along with the positive numbers we have to draw negative numbers also okay same method you will just extend it okay earlier you will you were drawing only the positive numbers like 1 2 3 4 5 6 and so on now you will draw all the all the negative numbers on the left hand side of 0 okay on the left hand side of 0 and they'll be written as minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 and so on all right so again you have to keep in mind the same things that when we are going to right hand side the numbers increases and when we are going to left hand side the number decreases okay so bigger numbers on right hand side smaller numbers on left hand side and remember all the points that we were keeping in mind to draw a number line will also apply everywhere whether we are representing integers on a number line whether we are representing rational numbers on a number line okay 
So let's move on further. Now suppose I have to represent 5 on the number line. How will I do that? Firstly, I'll draw a number line. Okay, I'll put arrows on both the sides. I will put x on equal intervals. Okay, and then I will write down the numbers under it. Alright, then I will write all the numbers under it. Now, when we have written all the numbers under it, and if I have to represent now the number 5, then 5 is already written here. What you will do is, just put a circle around the number 5. Okay, just put a circle around the number 5. So, this will be the representation of number 5 on the number line. Easy, isn't it? Yes. Let's take another example where you have to represent minus 5 on a number line now. Now in this question you have to represent minus 5 on the number line. So now what you will, you will do? How will you represent minus 5 on the number line? Firstly again we will draw a line with arrows on both the sides. We will draw it with a pencil. Don't forget. And then we will put ticks on equal intervals. And after that, now the number that we have to represent is minus 5. So that means now the number line that we will draw will start from 0 and will go to the left hand side, right? So now I have to write negative numbers, okay? And negative numbers always we have to start from 0, then we have to go to the left side because right... The numbers which are positive, they are on the right side and the numbers which are negative, they are on the left side. Okay. So now these numbers will be written on the left side. So if now I have to draw, represent or I have to represent number 5 on a number line, then how will I do that? How will I do that? See minus 5 is already written over here. So now I will put a circle around minus 5. So, this means that minus 5 is on the number line. It will represent minus 5 on the number line. Here, I hope it is easy for you. I hope you are getting the point. Right? Easy? Just remember those points that I have told you in the beginning whenever you have to draw. And don't forget to take more examples of positive and negative integers and do practice to represent them on a number line on your own to become proficient in the subject. Okay? And I hope you like our video and if you have learned from it, don't forget to click the subscribe button. Bye!